Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanavi, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Shivaji Memorial Society, Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today we are discussing about the function in C++. Why important for uh, Why function is important in C or other languages? So uh, in that uh, video, we are discussing about what is function or definition of that function. And why function is important, declaration of function, function prototypes, types of variable, types of function, call by value, call by reference, and friend function. These are the uh, content we are discussing in this video. First is the, what is function? A function is a self-contained block of statement that performs a particular task. Also, a function is a block of code which only runs where it is called. So, uh, you can pass data known as the parameters into a function. Functions are used to perform certain action and they are important for using code. Define the code words and use it many times. So mostly uh, the function is used for to uh, define the code once and use it many times. So enable modular programming. So separating implementation from interface and hiding information in the implementation. Main uh, is the driver function. Uh, so once a function execution is completed, control return to the place from where the function was called. Why function? Uh, why use function? A function is a block of code which only runs when it is called. So uh, you can pass data known as parameters. Uh, it may be uh, uh, it may be a single or it may be multiple uh, parameters into uh, passed to the function. Functions are used to perform certain actions uh, and they are important for raising code. Define the code once and just it may, uh, use it many times. Function enables programmer to break down or uh, decompose a problem into smaller chunks, each of which uh, performs a particular task. So these are the advantages. Uh, then next is the types of function. There are two types of function in C programming. First is the standard library function and second is the user defined function. Library function which are uh, uh, the function which are declared uh, in the uh, C header files such as calf, printf, gate, boot, uh, sail, floor, etc. And user defined function, uh, those functions which are created by the C programmer so that he or she can use it many times. It reduces the complexity of a big program and optimizes the code. So types of function, of <coughs> types of function, these are some uh, header files which are inbuilt in C. So and uh, in that uh, header files which we are uh, using some functions that is printed, can have get car, put car, get put, f open, f close, in file open, file close. Then in conio uh, dot h in that header files we do clear screen and uh, get sketch function. Then uh, math dot h in that power square root cost log these functions mainly use. Then string dot h in that uh, string length uh, str cpy str upr functions which are uh, used or uh, which are uh, already inbuilt in uh, string dot h header file. Then these are the declaration of a function. First one is the create a function or uh, first void my function. It is a it is a user defined function. Uh, print then in that function we print some uh, statement that is I just got executed. Then main function is important because of without main function we can't execute the um, we, we can't execute the program. So in that uh, main function we call the uh, user defined function that is my function. So call the function. And then the uh, last is the return zero because uh, here we uh, take a uh, main function that type is the integer. So uh, return uh, some integer value. Then a function consists of two parts. First of all, is the declaration part and next one is the definition class. Uh, definition, definition part. In declaration part, the function in that uh, we, uh, we denote the function's name, return type and parameter. Then definition the body of that function or uh, code to be executed. Then <coughs> these are the function prototypes. Syntax of uh, function prototype is written type function name in parenthesis 
uh, or bracket type one argument one and type two argument two, uh, two like that then uh, <coughs> calling a function control of, of the program is transferred to the user defined function by calling it syntax of function call function name argument one comma argument two uh, like that and then function definition the syntax of that the written type function name then type one argument one type two argument two like that then types of variable so uh, there are many types of variable in C local variable global variable static variable automatic variable and external variable local variables are those variables which are uh, declared inside the function or block it's called as local variable and it must be declared at the start of the of the block for example a void function one int x is equal to 10 uh, x is equal to in the local variable because uh, which are uh, declared inside the uh, function so uh, you uh, you must uh, have to initialize the local variable before it is used so global variable uh, next is the global variable uh, it is de uh, it, that is declared outside the function or block it's called global variable any function can change the value of the global variable it is uh, available to the uh, all the functions and it must be declared at the uh, start of the block in a static variable a variable that is declared uh, with the static keyword is called a static variable and it returns its value between multiple function calls then automatic variable a variable in C that are declared inside the block are automatic variable by default we can explicitly declare an automatic variable using auto keyword an external variable we can share a variable multiple c source files by using an external variable to declare an external variable you need to use external keyword so call by value and call by reference are the most important thing in function uh, first of all uh, original value it may be modified then uh, we use the uh, call by reference and it uh, can't be uh, modified then uh, we use the call by value so uh, call by value in C in call by value method the value of the actual parameter is copied into formal parameters in other words we can say that uh, the value of the uh, variable is used in the function call in call by value method and uh, in uh, call by value method we ca cannot modify the value of the actual parameter by the formal parameter in call by value different memory is allocated for actual and formal parameters since the value of that actual parameter is copied into the formal parameters so actual parameter are the variables that are transferred to the function when it is re uh, requested the formal parameters are the value determined by the function that accept value when the function is declared this is the example <coughs> in that uh, we uh, uh, use the function change in that we pass the parameter in num then before adding the value inside the function uh, the num is equal to num plus 100 then after adding that value the value is uh, printed here then uh, in main function int x is equal to 100, 100 so before function call the value of x is 100 and change of x so here uh, we call the function change and then, uh, then passing the value in function. So print after uh, function call uh, the value of x is uh, x means 100 plus 100 is 200. Then call by reference. In call by reference the address of the variable is passed into the function call as the actual parameter the value of the actual parameter can be modified by changing the formal parameter since uh, the address of the actual parameter is passed then call by reference the memory allocation is similar for both formal parameter and actual parameters all the uh, operations in the function are performed on the value stored at the address of the actual parameters and the modified value gets stored at the same address so this is the example same as the call by value
then uh, it is the main difference between call by value and uh, call by reference first call by value a copy of the value uh, is passed into the function and the uh, in call by reference we put the address of that value is passed into the function then change uh, made inside the function is uh, limited to the function only the value of the actual parameter do not change by changing the formal parameters uh, in call by value and also uh, call by reference changes are made inside the uh, function validated outside the function also the value of the actual parameters do change by changing the formal parameters and the actual and formal arguments are created at the different memory, uh, memory location in call by uh, value so the actual and formal arguments are created at the same memory location in uh, call by reference so this is the recursion in c recursion uh, is a process which comes into existence when a function call copy uh, of itself to work and uh, on a, a smaller problem the recursion cannot be applied to the all the problems but it is uh, more useful for the task that can be defined in terms of similar subtasks for example recursion may be applied to the sorting searching and traversal problem this is the example thank you